Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. Welcome back to another one of my lessons. In this lesson, we are going to develop movie theme like or scores uh, on the piano using nothing but well our right hand and our left hand and the power of the Andalusian cadence, which is nothing but one minor, seven flat major, six flat major, and then the five major. which kind of creates is very floating minor vibe it's like either natural or on the harmonic minor natural being a flattened 7 and harmonic being a raised or a major 7th so the movie themes which i am giving for you are not actual uh, melodic themes they are more ideas which will have a melody of course but you can develop those ideas and i would want you to make them your own and uh, what's very important is that you communicate that with me practice it record it and i'll be happy to hear it if you send it and tag me on uh, maybe one of our instagram accounts which is either jason zack which is mine or nathaniel school which is the schools and uh, we will access that and it'll be great to hear from you right so i have two movie theme ideas for you the first one basically involves the scattering of directions of notes so the the left hand is going to move in one direction and the right hand is going to move in the other direction it's as simple as that so tell yourself left hand goes down the andalusian cadence and the right hand goes up and they both follow the scale so the left hand is going to go the roots of each of the chords d c B flat, A, and the right hand will start with D, and then when the left hand goes C, the right hand goes up. Where should it go? Not E flat. It goes to E because we are part of the scale. So D, E, and the left hand goes C. So D, E with C, and then B flat because they are climbing higher there. The left hand goes down to B flat. then you end with a g and you end here with an a so without me talking too much maybe the right hand can play twice left hand can play single and probably add like an eighth note at the end and two and three and four and now because it's a movie theme we have to make it more epic so add some thirds in the right hand what is a third d coupled with the f e coupled with g these are diatonic thirds which are written down for you in the booklet which has the notes of this entire series so do consider getting yourself a copy of that booklet it will cont contain the notation and all the instructions to play this stuff so so thirds in the right hand and it's ascending there and descending here it's also what we call contrary motion in uh, western compo classical composition so and two Now here's where the fun begins. Well, the fun I think has already begun, but it's going to go crazy very shortly. So if you want to do stuff like that, basically all I'm thinking of is a movie. uh like a epic scene in the movie where you know it it it's the main conclusion of the film and this has to be absolutely devastating it has to be huge and monstrous you know if that's the correct word and that's where you need to think of what the drums would do so if you imagine huge drums war like drums what are they going to do dum 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 right then in like a huge room and you have 20 of these instruments so how do you simulate that on the keyboard well you try and do something like this so the deep the 
engine created which i created was so how did i get i'm just using my two thumbs that's all i can do i'm not playing a huge drum at the moment so and look at this keep the pinky to to always do the pulse so let's do that nicely on d minor follow my voice for the rhythm pattern climbing climbing and dropping here in contrary motion make it very very desolate if you want right dynamics will only happen once you have control over the rhythmic engine also explore different places to play it and milk the theme see how many scenes this can work for in the same movie right it's the same music i'm just playing it higher little softer consider this like a polyrhythm instead of going tan ta da ga da that's one way of visualizing it a lot of my students get it like that where i say tan ta da ga da dan ta da ga da dan ta da ga da da and look at my uh, pinkies of the two hands they are almost going together right trying my best to emulate the drums obviously we can't but this is giving you as much epicness as i possibly can and then it's for you to take it to town or you know compose it around you know an entire orchestral arrangement so the general uh, principle is ascend the melody in the right hand descend the bass and as always we are following the andalusian cadence which is the 1 7 flat 6 flat and the five going down the right hands climbing up the right hands in thirds and then to make it more epic we add that dun 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 so i have another very cool movie theme composing idea for you using nothing but the andalusian cadence let's move forward in this lesson itself so continue watching so with this movie theme like idea again the same story happens in the left you do d c b flat a andalusian i hope you're not bored with the cadence by now i'm not but it can get a bit boring so you could change it but for this part just stick with me we're just using the same now super simple left hand but we look at a right hand theme and build around that the right hand theme is just that so f e d a you can play it either low you can around middle c or you could play it a bit higher i'm going to start with low you see i'm slamming the e a bit louder so i'm implying that e is my down beat or one at the e you're going to slam the d now check this out in my left hand i'm trying to do root and my octave and toggling the guys together
remember E is my one so if you don't want to play A all the time if that's getting monotonous you could do a F E D G so pivoting that that tune now what i like about this particular style of movie theme uh, composition is you take the same tune and right now it's a bit haunting it's slow you could also you could just double speed it makes it more chaotic right all the things you need in a movie so try practicing in the slow version and you're not changing the tempo but the speed of the right hand just to recap the two movie theme composing ideas guys first of all the andalusian cadence very inspired by that the first idea was ascend the melody descend the bass in contrary motion harmonize and then add that dunk dug dug dunk to that war theme like thing the next thing i ended up doing was creating a, a very simple motif like this move down the andalusian speed it up and so on and so forth So what do I understand is a movie theme composition is just an idea a motif a hook which can survive the test of the movie you know so any scene in the movie uh, as d- deep as the emotions go you know it could be a very desolate scene where the actor is not really doing anything the actor is just walking alone somewhere on a desert uh, that is where music adds i would say 80% to the scene the visuals may just not not be that impactful you're just going to look at something rather static that is where you need to really bring out the life so m- movie themes are about that you try to create one idea which recurs over and over which can be played in different intensities with different dynamics which you can then pick and choose and use for different segments or themes in the movie of course after consulting your director whoever you're working with or the visuals which are uh, part of the script of course again guys this is jason here from nathaniel thanks a ton for being part of this series your support means a lot to our channel and uh, thanks for all your requests which you're uh, putting in for us to create the these lessons and uh, uh, do consider heading over to patreon that will give you the scores and the notes for this entire series jason from nathaniel cheers thanks for watching